Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will explain it to you how to fix pin is no longer available on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So if you are getting a message while logging to your account that something happened and your pin isn't available, click to set up your pin again and you're not getting a message of a sign in with a different option. So if you know your Microsoft account password, you just sign in with a different account with your password. In my case, you can see I'm getting this pin option because I just fixed my problem and that's what I'm going to share with you. These are the easy steps and it will be fixed within a few minutes. Okay, the first thing that you have to do on this on the same screen, just press and hold the shift key while holding the shift key on the right hand corner right and bottom you will see the power icon just click on it and choose restart just keep in mind you have to click on restart while holding the shift key once you click on it it may restart anyway just click on it and now we'll be restarting and it will give us some extra options for troubleshooting so we can fix the problem without entering the computer so here here choose an option Click the troubleshoot, then click advanced option, press command prompt, and here, please type uh, regedit, okay, then hit enter, okay, we're here, then look for each key local machine, click on it, then look for software, click on it, then next is Microsoft, then scroll down, then look for Windows NT here. Click, then click the current version. Then scroll down. Okay, scroll down, then look for passwordless. Okay, passwordless. Okay, click, click, then click the device. Okay, click the device. Then here. Here's the device password, passwordless build version. Okay, click, click on this. You see the value is set to. You need to change that. Make it zero. Okay, make it zero. Then click OK. And that's it. Just need to close it. Now close this box and close everything. And now it says continue. So you have to click on exit and continue to Windows 11. And now that once it will be restarted, you will see a screen coming up where you will be getting sign in options. So you can click on sign in option and then you can enter into your computer by typing your computer password. Hopefully this video tutorial will help you and I'm pretty sure because I just fixed my problem without following with following the same steps and hopefully this will work for you as well and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you